Hey friends, we are gonna be going over the S23 Ultra tips and tricks video today because at Apple's last event where they unveiled the iPhone 15 Pro Maxes, all of that, it was a little lackluster because there wasn't that much change. So if you're an Apple user looking to switch over to Samsung land, I got you because I'm gonna go over tips and tricks on how to navigate the new UI, how to customize it, how to transfer files the best way possible. And if you aren't an Apple user and you know just have the S23 Ultra, I got you. I'm gonna go over a bunch of the tips that will get the best out of your Samsung. So it's the best of both worlds. So let's get into it. All right, Apple users, remember when we had Touch ID and we absolutely loved it, had no complaints about it, but then Apple does their thing and change up things when no one asked for it and took away Touch ID and put in Face ID. Well, with Samsung, you'll be happy to know that you are gonna be able to use Touch ID all over again and have a setting where you can use it instantly without having to raise to wake it. All right, now that we have the fingerprint set up, did you guys know that you can change the resolution and have three options? You have full HD, HD, WHD, and QWHD with up to 3,000 pixels, which is wild. It's going to be a game changer for gaming and watching videos, but honestly, just scrolling as well. So I am home now. I'm kind of getting hungry. My sister has leftovers for me, so we're going to heat it up and eat. just like a year ago. They came a little late to the game, but with Samsung, you're gonna be happy to know that they have been on always on display since time now. You can customize it so many ways. Now, if you guys wanna change the brightness of the always on display, all you need to do is go into the brightness tab and just change it wherever you want, or you can have it on auto brightness, whichever one you prefer. As you guys can see, there's another section for a clock style. Here, you can change the style of your clock, change up its look, see what you want. Sweet. Oh, it's a little more. There we go. Some ASMR. Mm. So good. Now, since we have the option of changing how the clock looks on AOD, let's talk about how we can customize our lock screen anyways. So if you haven't chosen a theme, you can customize it within the Samsung phone. All you need to do is hold down on the lock screen and then you're going to put in your pin and or your fingerprint since we have that option now. Then you're gonna go through the options for customizing. You can customize the clock, notification style, wallpapers, contact info, lock screen shortcuts, all of that. So you're gonna have so much fun playing with this. Whereas on iPhone, you are very limited to quite a few options, not as much as Samsung. So let's say you wanna make a sticker out of a picture you use and you wanna use it in various messages or social media. You can definitely do that really easily in the Samsung app. Uh... Just kidding. <laughs> hey Google, play Inner Bloom by Rufus Dussault. Ooh. All right, so I think we can all agree that Google Assistant is so much better than Bixby. So let me show you guys how it, you can change it. Hey Google, stop. All right, so once you're in your settings, scroll down to apps and then scroll down to default apps and then tap on to digital assistant app and then tap on phone assistant apps and select Google as your option. Y'all look at that massive chicken finger. It was on the kids menu as well. Mmm, mmm. Now, once you customize how your UI looks, you can customize how your widget looks. This is probably my favorite thing about Samsung. You can enlarge it or make it smaller right in the app. With Apple, you only get like three settings, so you don't have as much room for customization. Now, let's say you wanna go on social media less or certain apps less, you can definitely hide it, so that way you don't have the urge of tapping on it the moment you unlock your screen. All right, guys, so if you guys want to take your photos to the next level and jump from JPEG photos to raw photos, all you need to do is go into your camera app and then go to the settings cog. Under pictures, you're gonna select either JPEG and raw or just raw. Now, once you have that saved, go into your camera app and go through the selections. 
And there you have it. Now, if you're wondering what the whole hype is with raw photos, basically raw photos gives you a lot more freedom when it comes to editing. A lot of times when I'm editing non-raw photos, I feel like when I turn up the saturation, it looks a bit fake or weird. The saturations are weird. The highlights, shadows is off. It's just not really perfect. You guys are taking photos during a broad daylight or have good lighting. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna turn out really great, but Let's talk about low lighting because that is when the real test comes. So be happy to hear that S23 Ultra or honestly Samsung photos, the newer ones, are taking night mode to the next level, allowing you to take photos under low lighting and be able to get a really good picture as if you have lighting around you, but honestly you don't. You just have the Samsung S23 Ultra camera with you. All right, so this is not a Samsung tip per se, but if you are looking for a fast charger, I'd love to to recommend AO High's 65 watt super sleek and fast charger. I generally love putting this in my pocket and small makeup bags on the go. I'd love to thank my friends over at AO High for gifting this to me. I've been using this for a while now and I absolutely love how fast it charges my device, how slim it is and easy it is to carry with me. Y'all link in the bio if you're interested. Sometimes you're taking photos and forget to really clean or check if it looks aesthetic because you're in a rush or on the go well in the editing app you're gonna be able to remove the object yourself and since you have the s pen for the s23 ultra it's gonna be so easy if you guys enjoy like adult coloring books definitely look into the pen up app it is already installed in the s23 ultra here you can play around with drawings colors shapes and all of that stuff now, if there's some fine print on the screen that you can't read, you can also use Magnify with the S Pen and magnify it to 150, 200, or 300%. All right guys, when I finished filming last time, I thought of more S Pen tips and other tips and tricks with the Samsung S23 Ultra. So if you go into the Pen City app, you're gonna be able to change the cursor for your S Pen. They'll give you a few options, but if you swipe all the way to the far right, you're gonna be able to make your own custom cursor if you'd like. Here I have my sister's cat, and honestly, look how cute she looks. But if you don't want it, you can use one of their defaults and change the size. How cute and how customizable is the Samsung? Next, if you want to take cropping to the very next level, you can use the S Pen to draw a circle or a square or you can draw it yourself because the S Pen allows you to have that freedom. Draw a heart, a star, whatever it is. Also, while you're recording with the Samsung, if you don't want to run to the Samsung, press record and run back, you can use the S Pen to take pictures or start recording. How convenient is that? The S Pen definitely takes the S23 Ultra experience to the next level. All right, so next up, we have a 100 times zoom. This is something I wish Apple has because with the 100 times zoom, you can definitely take a really good picture of the moon. Y'all, look at the pictures I took and how great it turned out. Now, let's say you're taking photos, but you want to really live in the moment of that photo. You can actually turn those photos into videos while you're taking photos. Sometimes Samsung will record a little blurb of you taking that photo, so you can definitely turn into a little video and honestly have the picture and video of that special moment. If you are editing photos and you don't want to do all the nitty gritty details, you can use Samsung's AI editing tool. It's called Auto Edit or Auto Enhance. It uses AI to take out, you know, reflections of light. It takes out blurriness, color correction, all of that stuff. So when you use it, you can use a little toggle to see the before and after. Now, another really cool camera feature in the Samsung is when you go to the more and you select director's view, you're gonna be able to see your front and back camera at the same time which is honestly so cool for vloggers it really gives a much more interactive sort of experience i've used it quite a few times in my videos and honestly love it What's really cool about Samsung is that it has auto framing and what this does is that it will zoom in and zoom out to keep the subject in focus. So if I move out, it will probably zoom you closer to me. And if I move in closer, it'll probably zoom out a little bit. But no matter where I go, it will zoom in and zoom out automatically to keep me in focus.
up. Now to turn this on, you just tap on the little circle on the bottom right corner. All right, guys, I think that is it. That should be a wrap. I am about to head to a little baby shower. So I'll share some of the food and footage. But anyways, I'll see y'all in the next one. Slap that like button if you haven't already and subscribe for more. However, that is it for me. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.